The Manx Grand Prix has long been a feeding ground for the next generation of TT racers. And one of our Manx favourites who's stepping up this year is Jamie Williams. Jamie, first TT 10 weeks from now, how does that feel? Um, it's all getting a bit surreal now. Um, 10 weeks doesn't sound like a very long time. A um, lot of prep work yet to go into things and, and whatnot. But, you know, looking around here today, it's... It's a bit scary to think that in 10 weeks this place will be full of Arctics and race teams and um, it'll be absolutely manic, won't it? So, um, yeah, looking forward to it. Now, this is a massive season for you in general because it's not just the TT you're stepping up to. You're going to do the international road races in Ireland as well, so the Northwest and the Ulster. Yeah, um, I've been lucky enough this year to have some great backing and, and some great people behind me. Um, so we thought, you know, it'd be the best year to, to move up. Um, we were away last week at the Northwest 200 and the Ulster Grand Prix newcomers. Um, so managed to get some plenty of laps in over there as well. So I'm looking forward to it, yeah. So last year's senior Manx Grand Prix was quite an epic race, if that's the way to describe it. There was some fantastic battles going on at the top. And there's some really, really good local competitors now looking to make that step up to the TT. What do you think about the level of competition there is out there at the moment, particularly in your age group and with your sort of rivals in the Grand Prix? It's massive, obviously. You know, um, looking back to the, the Mike's Grand Prix last year in the junior and the senior races, um, the local lads, we had um, Brent Farragher, Mikey Evans, um, myself, Glenn Harrison, um, and, and quite a few riders from away. Um, but the talent on the Isle of Man is, is next to none. And for such a small place, it does produce some fantastic road races. Um, you know, and this place and the Mike's Grand Prix does prepare you uh, really well for the TT and making that step up. Now, it's not long that you have been racing. Was it 2012, first short circuit race. 2016 was the first Grand Prix. Yeah. So, in terms of stepping up to the TT and timescales, have you set yourself any targets for this year at all? Yeah, like like every year, I set like sort of realistic goals that I want to what that I want to reach and, and and personal achievements. Um, and every year that I have set them, I, I've met them. Um, this year. It's a bit of a big ask, you know what I mean? It's moving up to international meetings, everything's different. You're you're up against teams with massive budgets, uh, better bikes, bigger setups, more resources. Um, I'm not going to say exactly what I've got, like goals I've got sort of set, but um, but yeah, I've got my own personal things I want to meet and whatnot. But this year, I want to more just concentrate on getting my feet under the table at these bigger meetings and um, just get my head down and, and plugging away at it. 10 weeks out from TT, what are you doing between now and then? I think you've got quite a lot on your plate, haven't you? Yeah, um, we've got quite a few short circuit meetings, um, test days and stuff at Jerby. Um, end of April, we've got our first road race at Scarborough Spring Cup. And then a few weeks after that, we move on to the North West, which is um, a newcomer at that. So I've got quite a lot on my plate at the minute, yeah. What was it like going to the newcomers event a couple of weeks ago? You had such established stars there, um, for example, like Glenn Irwin. Yeah, he's a Northern Irish lad who's yeah. really come good in BSB and on some of the short circuits and the roads. What's it like having kind of that level of help and support there? Like I said before, it's all a bit surreal. Um, at the Northwest uh, launch and newcomers night that I attended like last week, sat in a room with Dunlops, um, Glenn Irwin, Alice Seely. Uh, Lee Johnson, Dean Harrison, all all the, the main men, you know what I mean? And uh, at one point, I actually sat and said to myself, I'm, am I actually meant to be here with all these all these top riders, you know? But um, it does, it puts everything into perspective. Um, but, you know, I've worked hard over the last few years to, to sort of get where I am, um, and we've got a hell of a long way to go. But um, with being a newcomer at these events, it'll give me a chance to sort of um, show what I've got and, and sort of like hopefully make a mark.